10 yards in front, he's dangerous. Slips. Nice defense, Von Voigt. On Ben Rubier. Goal line extended on the near side. UVA just pelting Schneider right now. Quick 23-7, they're out shooting UMass. Gladding. Watched by Krieger. Boy, the UMass defense has got to be tired here. Jack, you won! Now it's Dixon. Pasque winds. Big shot. Deflected. Backed up by Gladden. So Rob told us about the heat factor of the UMass defense. And there's three long six of the pole out there a long time. They're going to get gas. The war of attrition clearly being won by Virginia right now. Look at the shot differential. Sean Mars for UMass. Just a spectator right now. Virginia showing an awful lot of control and precision with their passing game. Ward. Check there by Whipple. Billings works for Jared Little from Carthage, New York, home of the Powell brothers who are great stars at Syracuse. Pasque free, wide, shoots. Schneider is saved. His seventh of the day, and the big captain, Jack Reed, scoops up the loose change. Jack will be a key player in the MLL draft coming up this Wednesday. In Connecticut, Sam Moody unsettled. Here they come. Your mask got to have something here, Quinn, offensively, at least a threat on Kip Turner. And you'd like to see him throw it around here for about 30 or 45 seconds. Their defense needs oxygen. John Morris being shut off by Culver. He's got to work a little harder to get the ball, get involved in this game. He is their key. Shot sent, deflected wide. Nice backup. Morris, a sprint with Culver. Culver, the defensive player of the year, a first team All American just named here yesterday at the All American banquet. First USILA defensive player of the year is Michael Culver since Ryan Curtis at Virginia in 1999. He's just snuffed out offensive threats like Morris and so far doing the job. Ray Stabert, lone tally for UMass so far here in the first half. That's it. Morris gave that ball up off the out-of-bounds play, and he might not get it back on this possession. Through UMass, you've got to push to the net with Sean Morris. Get a reaction out of the defense. Gaiman trying to create. Ball poked out of his stick. Stabert picks up the loose change here for UMass. Possession continues. Corey Pedrick. He's had a brilliant offensive season for UMass. At one point, a goal all of last year. He's got 27 points this year, 11 goals. Eight multi-point games, number four in the dark jersey. Rory Pedrick, who handles here right-hand cradle. Including back-to-back -back sports center. Top 10 plays of the night. I mean, come on, make number four on Saturday, the over-the-shoulder shot against Maryland. Pedrick's the best thing that happened in your career in years, right now. <laughs> Keep going, Rory. Here's Morris, brilliant player. Quick pass, Pedrick scores again! It's Rory Pedrick, the quick stick go! And UMass has life in the second quarter. UMass is gonna rely on Sean Morris. Behind the cage, covered by Culver. Just a little ball watching by Mike Timms. Watch number 44 inside right here. He's staring at the ball. That's where you want to use that long stick. Keep that in touch with Pedrick. And that way you can look at both and keep your head on a swivel. So I look at Morris and then I swivel my head and find Pedrick. Look at Morris, find Pedrick. Timms was ball watching, staring at Sean Morris. And that's the type of you know, defensive reaction that they're going to get when Sean Morris can handle. Here's Jake Dean. The turn right as I call him, charging. Cruz scores! Jake Dean with a long stick wins the faceoff and scores for UMass in a second straight game. 4-3, 10 seconds apart. This stadium is 90% UMass. They would love to see the upset, and the Minutemen have to ride that emotion. From the whistle, watch him push forward. Glazer takes it out Dean, he thinks, but the relentlessness, the range and tenacity of Jake Dean has really been his signature all year, and he carries in with confidence again. You've got to take the body. Look at Giannone with the dive shot. The dive attempt, and Turner can't get there. Jake Dean, such a story in these playoffs. He has been tremendous in the faceoff X. Dominating Hofstra in the fourth quarter, winning all seven of those draws. Trying to win another here. Able to feed Jack Reed. Faceoff numbers, top of your screen there at 6-3. Reed with a long stick. Here's Brian Danvers trying to track it down with a six-foot pole as well. He'll do that. 
Dean, a great story. Jake the Rick, the Terminator, as they call him. In the hotel management, hospitality major at UMass wants to open a lacrosse-themed restaurant. He said somewhere on the East Coast, but it's got to be south of Amherst. He wants to be a little bit That's warmer. Yeah. He's a native of Annapolis, Maryland. One of the few long stick players, Jake Dean, who takes the draw on the X on a regular basis, and is he ever good? How good was he against Hofstra mm. in the NCAA quarterfinals? Winning every fourth quarter faceoff. This UMass team, they were done, buried, dead, down by five goals with eight minutes to go. And that's been their trigger point. For Virginia, their trigger was last year's semifinals. The disheartening loss against Johns Hopkins. X. Dean has set a brand new record at UMass for ground balls in a season. Stamer charging through a brilliant save. Ball's airborne. And a crease call. They are officials against UMass. Stamer, a nice drive toward the cage. Now a clear try. Watch Kip Turner go down low on a knee right here. Stamer drops his stick, kind of telegraphs the location of that shot. Turner has been underappreciated for Virginia all year. Matt Warren and the seniors had a special graduation ceremony. After winning the quarterfinal game against Georgetown, the rest of the EVA senior class graduated on that Sunday quarterfinal day. Just the Virginia lacrosse team got to walk the lawn and go to the Thomas Jefferson home for a special dinner. Amazing. Dixon, a quick shot again off target. Got nailed there. No go, Godoy, the Brazilian born long stick for UMass, made it tough on Dixon. Ward triggers play, Matt Ward. Quick left-handed shot. It's in, a score for UVA. His second of the day. Schneider, a piece of it, trickles over the line. 5-3. Matt Ward pushes left-handed right off the reset on the end line. Good defense by Jack Reed. Here it is again, nice little split dodge, right to left. Running away from the goal, not much velocity there, but tough to find the ball coming out of a moving pocket. Reads all over Ward, but there's where the strength. Ward, an excellent high school football player, played linebacker and point guard, a strange combination. He's been Mr. Clutch throughout his career at Virginia. Nothing there. 13 goals no. in his tournament. Play. The record, Gary Gate, Syracuse, 1990, he had 15 goals, so. That Ward well within reach of setting a new record for goals scored in a tournament. A lot of contact, far side. Krieger a push. Right there, right there. He's on the side. Now and Gladding is called out of bounds by the officials. Okay, I need a red right here. White step back on the side. No way. Stay with me. And Schreiber. Right there. Great angle. The question to me was, was, was that a push from behind by Sean Krieger? Replay says yes, it was a push. Right in front of the Virginia bench, and Mark Van Arsdale, their assistant coach, agreed. Tough play, Giacomino, who is tiptoeing that sideline. Brilliant athlete, Brian Giacomino, met with him yesterday and really exuded some confidence that UMass could stay with Virginia, and he was right. He really epitomizes that speed and toughness, the grit that UMass brings. Scrappy bunch of water bugs, this midfield unit. All below 5'9", and anyone who's listed at 5'9", let me tell you, they're not 5'9". No one in this world is 5'9". If you're 5'9", you list yourself as 5'10". If you're 5'7 and 8, then you list yourself as 5'9". Yeah, Jack Avina might be 5'7", but is he ever fast and effective? Now it's Garber. We hear from his dad, Ted, former UMass coach. Steps back in the box. If you're out of it for 10 seconds, once you're in, it's a violation. It's a turnover. On the attack, quick shot sent wide. That was Federico. He's got that Federico, great right. shake and bake move. Had a key assist against Cornell. Scored a, a big goal in their Georgetown game. But he loves to fake it to the left and this explode to the right. Extremely quick and tough to cover. Game time goal against Cornell. In the first round of Shulkoff Field. 346 left in the game. And shockingly, UMass won that one. They were supposed to win that game. Stabert in front. Missed the target. What a chance. Clay Stabert in UMass. Take that one more step to greatness when you're curling around the cage. Greg Canella was a attackman in his day. Started his career at Maryland. And then finished at UMass. And the Minutemen had some great comebacks. We talked about the Cornell game, the Federico goal. The Hofstra game, they were down by five in the fourth quarter. Scored six in a row to win it. 
Jim Conley, the freshman, had the game winner in overtime on a feed from Garber. It's Conley a shot, bounced it wide. Conley, a tremendous high school score, 500 plus points. His dad, Steve, playing on the 69. Undefeated UMass team, the only unbeaten UMass team in school history. Steve was a captain. He's here today rooting on his son, Jim. Five and a half left, first half. Garmin behind the cage. First crossing there with Stabert. A feed. Great play. Federico forgot the ball. That was the problem. Now it's unsettled. Virginia on the move. Billings, beautiful pass in front. Schneider a stop. His eighth save of the day. He just stones Rubier on the doorstep. And you mask it away. They've got the numbers. It's unsettled. Danvers for Conley a fake. Jim Conley thought about attacking the cage instead. He's running to Mike Kelly, but Kelly slips. Conley in front. Save made, kept turn. Almost trickled past him. Fourth save of the day. This is end end lacrosse. It's awfully fun to watch. Smith works for Billings. He'll step into the box. Superb goaltending at both ends. Schneider took that one off the right hip. Turner didn't buy the fake and stayed tall in the net. Got a, an opportunity on Friday to throw the ball around with Kip Turner as part of our Home Depot coaching clinic. I noticed he likes to stay high from the inside, and that time it paid off. If in doubt, just stay tall in the net. Matt Ward's got two already. Billings, Ward, quick shot. Doc Schneider on a laser beam. Shuts down Matt Ward. That's no easy matter for the freshman. Here's Jack Reed. Reed told us yesterday, watch the ride if you're Schneider. He's pumped on the play by Rubier. That early in fall ball last year, Schneider stepped up at team meetings, at team dinners. He was an obvious leader. And Reed, as he said to us, it was very clear that Doc Schneider was going to be the goalie of the future as a freshman, has led them to the championship game. Yeah, he's got the presence of, of a veteran, and UMass hasn't had a goalie with that kind of uh, intangible quality since Sal Acasio back in the late 80s. They add Jake Kuhn to their assistant coaching staff, a former goalie at Nazareth, who has spent hours upon hours working with Doc Snyder, and you see what that's done to UMass. Any team that doesn't have a goalie coach, it's almost like a baseball team not having a pitching coach. You've got to address the goalie position in terms of instruction and improvement. Game it. It's Conley behind the cage. Top of the box, Pedrick pins for another. Shot deflected away by Kip Turner, backed up nicely by Conley and UMass. All of a sudden, UMass getting shots. Every time they possess the ball, they're starting to find some cracks in this Virginia defense. When the ball was dead, time white. That the Tawarton Trophy will probably emerge from this game. Greg Canella is on the committee. Dom Starja has a vote. Dom has two players in Dixon and Ward in the final five. Sean Morris is kind of like Vince Young. Quarterback of Texas. He's the most talented player. Meanwhile, Matt Ward is kind of like Matt Liner. He plays in the best system and has put up impressive numbers. Great comparison. We thought it was Morris's award. We'll see what happens today. They wait until the championship game to decide. The award is passed out on Thursday in front. They go. Great play. Easy go. Conley. Buries it for UMass. On the doorstep. It's a big one to make it 5-4. Talk about a critical goal coming off a timeout. It looked like Virginia almost went to his own defense. Actually, they're shutting off Morris behind the cage. You see him back there. He's taken out of the equation. A bad slide right there, a bad double team by Virginia. They flow up field. That was Ricky Smith stepped up field, leaving his man wide open. Very surprised. That's something Dom Starja told us yesterday. A couple of leaks defensively, as he called it, against Syracuse in the 17-10 win. The slide game particularly in their defensive half of the field. Jack Reed, a big captain who loves to wear his Oakley sunglasses. You saw him before the game today outside the locker room. As they... The same here, Quint. This team is not scared of Virginia. Not at all. I'm impressed. Can Morris get it going? The All-American. Quarter finalist, the Heisman Trophy of lacrosse. Pass way over the head of Conley. It's thrown away. Nice pressure from Culver. Yeah, when I talked to Sean Marsh yesterday, I asked him, what team did the best job against you? He said Penn State this year. I hardly ever touched the ball. He says it's tough to get in a flow when you don't get touches. And Michael Culver's been shutting him off. 
And that time, Morris blew by Culver. The support was there, the double team was there. And because I, I believe that the lack of touches for Morris, his stick, stick wasn't sharp. Timeout caught by Virginia here with under two to go. It was the site. The site this year as well. Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Dave Quint and Rob, field level with you. We crown a national champion today. Heading down to 90 seconds, melting first half block. UMass unseated, is in uniforms. Virginia has the ball here in the home whites. They're the top seed, top rank, undefeated. UMass in a zone right here. Off the timeout, they change things up and go to his own defense. Over here for Dixon. Ward, we just saw in the coaching clinic a moment ago. Got a couple tallies already here today in the championship game. The half field concepts in lacrosse, so similar to basketball. Except in lacrosse, you can attack from behind the goal, and it's six on six, not five on five. Ward, thought about a shot. Final minute of play, first half. Rubier, off the bounce, Dixon lost it. It's out of the box, and because we're in the final minute of the quarter, that's a turnover. A little sloppy play for Dom Starge's team. Don't be running on me. Third turnover. You saw Greg Canella had the placards there because it's so loud. Holding up the signs for his team on the offensive sets. Jacobina, great job. It's unsettled. Marvin driving through. Left hand shot. Turner a save went high on Kip Turner. They had more time. It's a double whammy if you're UMass. Now plenty of time for Virginia to counter here. Dixon right hand cradle. The Doyle over him. It's unsettled. Dixon driving through. Thought about a shot. He's checked. Final seconds. Krieger picks up a big ground ball. That is a huge part of the game for UMass here. The Doyle. Final seconds. Moody. Can he get a shot off? He cannot. That is the end of the half. Sam Moody got decked by Smith for his troubles. Dead Schreiber. Move the ball. Hans Wittelsberger, Eric Evans, our officials. Mike for sound. Possession, Drew Thompson and Virginia. Thompson, it's unsettled. Winds a big shot, got the pipe. Hit some iron. Big break, UMass and Doc Schneider. Jake Dean lost that draw, but he has the ground ball. Here comes Jacobina and UMass. First possession for the second half Jack for the Minutemen. Anyone's game. 30 minutes to determine a national champion. I believe Schneider deflected that ball off his stick. It sounded like a double sound. You could hear it. it went to do. Deflected off the plastic of his stick and then hit the post. Thompson from a severe angle. We almost caught him off guard. Jacobina reverses his ground. Lightning quick. Here's Larm in top of the box area. Open. Shot. Score! Brett Carter got free and buries it. We are tied. The grandson of the father of UMass Lacrosse. You'll see Larman push to the net left-handed this way. On the far side, it's Garber. Poor coverage by the defense right there. It's Jacobina flashes towards the middle and Garber just what's called a mumbo. He backs out and his man, again, got caught staring upfield at the ball. A great pass by Larman across the defense and Garber catches that ball fundamentally Takes a little shuffle step and lets it rip. Keep it simple, but a great pass. A good off-ball movement by UMass. Ground ball for Wings. Taken by Orsman with a long stick for Virginia. Dick Garber, who passed away in 1992. One of his favorite phrases. Boys, go out there and let the fur fly. In other words, let it all hang out. Well, that's what his grandson did. Right there with a huge Jack goal to tie the game. It's our second tie of this championship afternoon in Philly. Rubier. Dixon, top of the box. Thought about a shot. Had 11, an incredible number for number 11 in the first half. 11 shots. I mean, that's... Can be for a few games. Full 
You hear Doc Snyder yelling out the, the defense. His first assignment as a goalie. Where is the ball? How is it being played? What defensive package are we in? Who's hot? Who's the double team man? It's a lot of responsibilities for a young goalie. Drew Thompson. Beautiful pass. On the board. Ward has another. Matt Ward. Give him a hat trick as he tries to win a championship and a Tawarton Trophy. Virginia, the best passing and shooting team in the nation. Freeze it right here. You see how UMass's defense, they flow to the ball. Look at Ward, he's open on the back side. And that pass through sticks, beautifully done by Thompson. Ward's got the easy job there. He catches, he can stare down Schneider and let it rip. I love the way he shoots that overhand shot and then yanks it at the end. Still there, still there. Please! 18, possession UMass. He'll play all the way back for Schneider. Matt Ward told us yesterday his coaches have told him over the years that over the head shot much more reliable but that is not a reliable play Krieger cross field try to hit Paul Manessis and a turnover and a big one for Greg Canella and UMass the ball right back to Virginia and their potent offense hard to imagine that Matt Ward broke his hand ACC final Trying to fall through on a shot. Ran into a helmet or a shoulder. He's not sure hey, what you, Eric, you, happened Eric, exactly. You, Eric. But you, Eric. hairline fracture in his right hand. We spoke with him yesterday. Shook his hand. Said it felt fine. No pain really. Wears a very small cast under his glove. And it hasn't affected him much. He's got 14 goals in four games. Full shot. I thought you gave it a little extra squeeze on Saturday before the semifinals. <laughs> playing, playing your Syracuse oh, Come on now. Wouldn't have mattered much. 17-10 semis. Virginia over the arm. UMass back in his zone. Von Voigt jumping out of the shooter ward there a moment ago, trying to stop another Virginia goal. Rubier. Goal line extended. Here's Gladding, the freshman driving through. Beautiful save, Schneider. Ducks out of a piece of it. Ball loose. Now it's Krieger. Left the ball behind, Rubio and South Saddle trying to grab it. He's hit hard. Red, push, twice. Virginia here. keeps it. You got one chance to make that play for Sean here. Krieger. Because Rubio is really working Thank his tail you. off back there. And you miss it the first time, you're going to get pounded on the arms by a check. Full you six. may not get a second attempt at it. It's fine, you're fine. Say that, sir. You hear the shouting of Doc Snyder. We have a microphone Full on the goal. Six. Five sounds on the field. Ward. Schneider a piece of it. On a blast.